Welcome to Eastman's Hunting TV. On this episode, we're traveling to Southern Wyoming to join up with longtime family friends Wendell and Corky Froughton for our annual mule deer hunt. Wendell and Mike have killed the bigger buck three years in a row now, and Ike and Corky are looking for a change. Last year I killed 197. Mike was in the 180s. Guys are finding bigger bucks than you guys. Yeah, probably. But it's still first morning of the hunt. <laughs> we got plenty of time. You gonna kill bigger bucks than this year? Oh yeah, we always do. Why? We got all the experience. Yeah, between me and Wendell, there's a hundred years mule deer experience. That's kind of embarrassing to say, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, the coals of our friendly family rivalry are getting stoked up again. Let's catch up with Mike and Wendell as a glass and aspen pocket for a big Wyoming buck. We got a whole bunch of bucks down here, folks, off down here at the bottom. One of them, one of them is like a 170, and another one's like a 160. Yeah, one buck's got cheaters on one side, both sides. Another year or two, he's gonna be really a great deer. It's nice and heavy. His bucks are really in good shape this year. And they're just moving off. We didn't scare them, they're just trotting off. We'll go see if we can find some more bucks. Not to be outdone, Corky and Ike are glassing a different area not far away, anxiously searching for the biggest buck possible. They've managed to locate a solid buck with a couple small inlines, but he's just a little too weak on his fronts and Ike reluctantly decides to pass up on the buck. If his left side were matched his right side, we wouldn't be sitting here. Given the harsh drought conditions, I wonder if Mike would have passed up on this buck. October in Wyoming is usually the month when the weather begins to change. The second week of October can sometimes look a lot like the first week of winter at this elevation. Let's see if this cold front brings any of the big bucks in the area out of the woodwork. Mike and Ike are stoking up an old family tradition of who could take the biggest buck in camp. They've both spotted a few close, but not quite bucks, but a strong cold front has moved in and hopes are high for finding a big mature buck. Let's catch up with Mike and Ike and see if the weather changes things for the guys. Moose over here has got a cow and a calf. They're rutting right now. The bull's gonna stay with that cow until she comes in. Last night, we saw a cheater buck here that we saw the first day. We saw him last night up here, but we figured he'd be bedding down in here, but we can't find him. He might've went down into the creek. So we'll check out there. Really great buck. He's got about a four or five inch drooping cheater on one side. About a three inch cheater on the other. Nice deer. But he was, we left him last night, he was feeding right on this edge here. Kind of look around. Well, 
Those moose might have boogered all those bucks out of here. Last night as they were playing around, all the bucks left, I think. But the other night there was like six of them. Bucks. buck. He's probably 27. His tangs aren't real, branch real low, but he's heavy and he's wide. Tips out at the top. Oh, and there's the cheater. The cheater buck and the wide one are together. I see the uh, wide one. He's rubbing his antlers. We didn't see him two days ago. Or last night. Or last night. Didn't see him last night. Now we gotta just wait until they get, they're in a pretty, pretty bad spot to stalk them. And the one thing you don't wanna do is go busting in there and try to do a bad stalk like I write in my book. Just sit back and you wait until they get in a position and you can do 100% successful stalk. They're not in that position right now. Just have to, just have to wait. See what they do. They'll probably lay down here in the next little bit, and then we might even have to wait until this evening. Well, folks, we looked at these bucks. There's four of them there. There's one with a good cheater, and there's a wide, laid-out bucks, probably 27 inches. Very impressive bucks. In another year or two, maybe next year, we're talking, you know, 180 class deer. And um, right now they're uh, probably in the 170s. We're gonna kind of look around, but that one that tips out a window, he likes it and I do too, because when he walks away, he just goes like this and it's pretty impressive. So but we saw a buck down here, first day of the hunt, that's an old buck and he's, He's got what I call Boone and Crockett backs. They're just, they're really tall, 16 inches. It's got a good main beam, but his G4s are short. And I think on one side, he might not even have a G4, but he's an old, old buck. And um, we're gonna kind of look around too and see him, see if we can find him too. So we've, we've got a couple alternatives here. This is the third day of the hunt and uh, it's gonna start getting interesting. The October cold front has passed and the deer hunting action is heating up. Let's get back to the Aspen country and see if there are any new bucks in the area. Two of those and everybody wins, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, we have to give you two guys. We have to let you two guys win once. I mean, if we didn't do that, it well, would be a contest. I would hope so because <laughs> Corky and I were getting to the point where we were wondering if we were ever going to win. And you guys and, are really oh, and I think yeah. <laughs> it's not done yet. No, we oh. still got a perfectly good deer license. Yeah. Yeah, you do, and you got our help, so you might be able to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> you got enough eyes. We'll teach you how to. We'll teach you how to hunt. Okay. Now. It would be really uh, funny if I got one that was bigger than that. You guys would be so. Well, this would be the first year that you lost it. No. Yeah, I know. No, 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 no. It's the first no, no. year. Oh yeah, it is. Yes. No, 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 no. Old guys no. have always beat you, young guys. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we have. They have. Ike has managed to set the bar very high with his buck. The weather is turned for the worse, and the rain is turning to snow. 
Luckily, Mike and Wendell know exactly where the deer seem to go in these wintry conditions. This is where the years of mule deer hunting experience seem to pay off for the old guys. Luckily, the skies cleared overnight. With Ike already tagged out and a fresh blanket of snow on the ground, the pressure is on Mike and Wendell to find a bigger buck. It will make for a very long year for Mike to be on the losing end of this one for the first time. Mike is tagged down on a great buck. And now, it's Mike's turn to try and raise the bar. With the passing of the cold front, there's snow on the ground and the bucks are moving out of the Quakies and into the more open country to feed. Let's see if Mike and Wendell can catch a big, shy Wyoming buck out in the open. Buck wasn't with him. A cheater buck is a nice buck, but he's a young buck, maybe next year. I'm looking for a 27 inch uh, slick four point that goes out. We saw him a couple days ago before the snow flew last night, and uh, he just wasn't with him. So we're going to kind of look around and see if we can't find him. He's really a nice buck, probably in the low 180s. So it's on and upward. Got this buck over here, saw him the first night. Really good buck, couldn't find him, couldn't find him. This is the last day of the hunting season, the last hour. He's right back where he was the first day. And uh, we're gonna make a stalk on him and get up here and, and uh, try to take this buck. He isn't gonna go far, right in the shoulder. Hit him in the shoulder like that, you bust their shoulder and go through. They're not gonna go very far. Let's go on over. Now that's trophy mule deer. Looks like to be 28 inches wide. He's got two inline points on his G3s, six and a half, maybe six inches on his bases. Well, folks, uh, this has been a quite a hunt. Me and Wendell uh, started out, and we saw these bucks opening of uh, the hunt, and uh, they kind of disappeared on us. Um, we had great weather for the first couple days of the hunt, and then the third day, it just snowed and was bad, and woke up this morning. This is the last day of the season, and it was just a muddy mess and cold, and uh, we were looking for a wide buck this morning and couldn't find him. Found two cheater bucks, but they're real young bucks, and uh, next year they ought to be really good trophy bucks. And this is the last half hour of the season, and we decided to go up this creek and uh, check this out, see if for one more time, see if this buck was in here, and bingo, there he was. Well, folks, thanks for coming along with me on this Wyoming trophy mule deer hunt. And remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game.